Hey guys, this video is about my hitting harness for baseball and throwing cord. Um, my name is Kurt, I own Acceleration, and uh, I started a company called C2 Performance. It's actually a full-fledged training system you can do at home. Um, if you own a gym or a, you know, if you're a strength coach, uh, it comes with activation drills for hips, upper body, foot speed drills, agility, speed, over speed, power, jumping, and it attaches to everywhere. But this video is basically on the hitting harness and the throwing cord. So the hitting harness, there's three sizes, small, medium, large. Kids will wear the small. This is just a medium. Um, and what you do is you just take this Velcro um, belt and you want to make sure you get it under your, under your glutes, not above here, down below, and you Velcro it really tight. Okay, that's on. And you'll notice that you don't want it to spin around your hips. And then um, as far as hitting goes, it's only going to resist or assist your lower body. So these bands that I have made, there are three colors. There's gray, red, and black. The gray are the light ones, which I kind of like because they're not overwhelming. But if I'm a right-handed hitter, I'm going to put it on my left hip. Okay. I'm going to use this little wiffle ball bat here. <clears throat> and again, if I want to make dry swings over the tee without a ball, I mean, it's just a training aid. So what this is going to do, if you notice the band is behind me, what that's going to do is it's going to open up my hips. So it's going to get athletes to feel that. You know, your power is generated as you turn your lower body, open up your hips, and extend. And any hitting instructor knows exactly what this feels like. You get a lot of kids that slap at the ball, but this band will get them to open up, transfer their weight, and get into their front leg. Once they feel that, what, what you do then is you just spin around. And now it's off the, now it's in front of me. And again, you can hook the band to your wall in your garage. You can hold onto it with a handle. Um, you can take it to the field and click, clip it to a fence. I mean, it, it's got a hook on the end of it. So it doesn't matter. And then the, how much load do we put on it? I usually stand about nine feet away from where I hook it. And that's kind of like the tension I like. But yeah, it's just a training aid. These kids can work on their, their swing. Notice when I swing, I want to make sure that I'm completely rotated, you know, squashing the bug with my right leg. And I like to hold my finish for three seconds. So I swing the bat. One, two, three, repeat. You do 10 reps and unclip it. When you unclip it, you're going to get this instant overload feeling and your hips are going to go fast. And then you repeat three sets. So it's a great training tool. It really helps kids feel how to get through a hit. Um, and yeah, that's what it is. It's called the hitting harness. We sell them for $25 to $30 online. Um, the bands that you would want would be gray or red. Black is extra heavy. Those are better for different training, like sprints and stuff. Um, there's also 10-foot bands. So if you have a little more room in your facility, you know, you move the... Now everything's moved out farther. And this band, you know, it stretches. It's a lot easier to do than the short one because the stretches are longer. But they're nice to have. It gives good feedback to the kids as well. Uh, as far as throwing goes, I'm going to take this off. Actually, I'll leave it on. Um, if you're a pitcher or just an infielder, outfielder, you know, J-bands have been around forever. They're awesome. They're just short. So what I did is I created a wrist cuff. You know, it spins around. Just a simple cuff. It's got a clip on it. And you hook bands to it. And basically, the video I made is, you know, arm care. So, you know, we usually start with, you know, just getting on top of the ball and coming down. Notice that that band slots in my shoulder, above my shoulder. Kids start throwing off to the side, it goes underneath their arm. You wanna stay on top of it. So there's some, again, these videos I have just teach you what to do. You know, you can do internal and external rotation, belt raises, some arm circles, each direction. And then what we wanna do is start working on, you know, flipping it, throwing it, and then obviously coming to pitching where, you can 
literally have the kid, you know, start from the stretch position, wind up, throw it. And what we do is we teach him to stay on the front side. Notice the band is across my shoulder. And then I square back up to the target upright and I work on my decelerators in my shoulder. One, two, three. So again, step, throw, notice it came across my shoulder. One, two, three. 10 throws is plenty. Unclip it, arm velocity goes up automatically. Now you can combine the wrist and the waist. So if I'm a pitcher and I want to work on my velocity of my arm, well, let's go back. Let's go just hip. So this is going to pull my left hip open. That's going to speed up my rotation. It's going to speed up my arm velocity. See how it pulls me open? Again, 10 feet away from the wall, holding onto it. Again, once you learn how to do that well, you go the other way. So then you throw, hold your finish, throw, hold your finish, 10 reps. Again, throwers might like this better um, and just use the, the wrist for just working on arm, like the movement. Because when you take this thing off, again, your hips just fly open, you step through it. And that's the feeling you want. That's where speed is generated here, not here, even though the arm is the last thing to let go of the ball. ball. So again, you can go a hip and a wrist. Again, and just work on, move. You, you could even use like a towel and do towel drills. Snap it, you know, hold your finish. And again, snap it, hold your finish. Notice I'm doing assistive hip. So if you really want to work, you go resisted, resisted. Oh, oh see, I almost fell back there. You got to get through this. Got to get through it. And again, it's a great training tool. There you go. See, I fell back again. You got to really get your hips turned, keep your knees bent, and get through the ball so that when you take it off, This is, this is what you want to feel. You just want to feel really free flowing. Um, everything's going that way toward the target. So you got your hitting harness for hitting and throwing, and you got your wrist cuff for arm care, throwing, and this little kit. Um, we're selling these with videos, so check the links below, c2equipment.com, and get this in your arsenal.